uh, meeting acquaintance, uh, uh, Jerry. Um, I'm going to call you Jerry more instead of Gerardo. You. you know, I don't want to scare off our uh, our uh, <clears throat> Yankee listeners. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, have you touched on the on the subject the right way? Um, what we're not looking for is people that are so dogmatic, and you know, kind of we say horses with the blinders going in there, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, what we want are are people who are analytic in their mindset, and they've been able to uh, learn things, unlearn things and to learn new things or augment it in their own mind and evolve through a process of thinking. And that's the process that we are really interested in to learn and see how they evolve. Um, so that is the interesting thing in this part. And we're looking forward to hearing your story. Thank you. Uh, first, I, I want to apologize to the other uh, interviews because I don't have enough time to see every every interviews. Uh, I would like to remember that Hotel Bar in Madrid to 2015. Uh, People say that, can you talk louder? Okay, uh, uh, it's okay? Yeah, yes. better? Better, okay. thank you. Uh, the, I, I just tell that I would like to remember that, that Hotel Bar in Madrid. Um, the first time I, I saw Javier was on a slide uh, in the Rocavados TMJ postgraduate program. And in this hotel, he was with a Cuban cigar bar, uh, a whiskey. We were Facebook friends, uh, recognized each other. Uh, we started talking for three days and three nights <laughs> until today. Uh, we don't stop talking yes. about occlusion for both of us is our passion, is this advice. Uh, thank you for being my, my good friend. We are also united that your daughter and I were born the same day in June, not the same year, but uh, the same. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I love you, you more now. Me. Yeah, thank you for letting me share my vision and for honoring me with, uh, with being among these great professionals. And thank you, you, Hamid, for moderating the interview. Uh, uh, I, I want to I want to start with a sentence very important for me. I always said it to all my students: all things are inexplicable until they are explained. This is from a TV freak series, uh, Fringe. I don't remember the the year, but uh, Hamid, please write it: all things are inexplicable until they are explained. Uh, this is why I want to see all the interviews in order to be able to say things that uh, have not said. Because when you see, uh, for instance, for, for example, the spaghetti test, the, the second time you are able to say all oh, the lie has been known that the spaghetti test is recommended to improve the lip sealing. I'll try to do my best. Uh, I want to tell you my process. Uh, with uh, free ane uh, anecdotes, uh, free histories that are the key to understanding my process until this interview. The first one happens in- Okay, we need to speed up. So let's go by segment. First, how would you get from a pure natology uh, uh, I, I, this is, this is, this is, I, I'm coming. This is first happens in Bogota <laughs> in the year of 1994, uh, when I did my first implant prosthesis supported uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, in three, uh, I am set implants, impacted implants. Uh, that was uh, before uh, starting the prosthodontic degree. I put it, and it's important to know that I um, studied at the Javerianas University, and we were their close anatologists, the Stuart, Peter Neff, uh, Peter Katoma, we do natologies pure 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 and my patient had a unilateral cross bite and i left her uh, occlusion well with a canine guide i left and when i returned from vacation i see the patient again and and she tells me that her prosthesis uh, has broken that if i can fix it okay no problem 
when I unscrew it and I remove it, she puts her hand on her knee and says, oh, uh, it has stopped hurting me. Uh, I have had two knee surgeries for pain and the doctors do not know where it come from. Uh, she opened her eyes and says to me, it hurts me since you put me this deep in me. Wow. I put the prosthesis back in her mouth and screwed it in, in passive adaptation. And, and the pain in her knee come back immediately. It was impossible to believe until I put it, but I didn't fit uh, properly. Uh, she bites and tell me, here, is that not hard? I look and when I was cross it again, I wear the contact until I lift the prosthesis in, again in a cross bite. Uh, and where she tells me, uh, does not feel anything in the knee. Okay, it's perfect. And uh, there she, she says to me two sentences uh, that marked me forever. Thank goodness it happened to me. She's a very close, familiar person. And that happened at the beginning of your practice. So find out why. Now, when you have to, to understand that I, that, that I come from a poor country, Colombia is a poor country, that means that if someone has an oral rehabilitation, what is the best option to work? The natological one or, or the freestyle occlusion? Uh, because I want to optimize my, my, my work. Uh, and they do not break. Otherwise, uh, the patient will not come to my office and I will have to pay two or more times to the laboratory technician to repair them. Uh, then don't, uh, don't, don't sit in Catalan. Uh, so I remember um, a prof, a teacher, uh, Professor Richuli. Uh, Richuli was a teacher, um, of um, complete denture. Uh, uh, he, he told me the healthiest gum in the mouth was when there were no teeth. <laughs> it's obviously, uh, it's a dental patient. Okay, and another, another great professor, Juan Manuel Gonzalez, who in, in one class said, uh, the most stable tooth periodontally is the one that it works well. So I'm starting to obsess it uh, with the full denture. If plastic teeth work well and do not have support, they must be made to work that way, but with dental veolar support. This is my, my, what I mean. Well, I first tried to modify the dental anatomy in a specific way, uh, the trajectories. Well, we will spend hours just counting that process. My technician went crazy, bueno, Orlando, poor man. Well, all, all my technicians, uh, Uriol, Raquel, well, uh, Jesus, uh, Pep, having to endure me, it's impossible. I take almost 12 years to know how a cross bite can cause a strain on the knee. The second one happens here in Barcelona. In, in 1999, when I was studying the doctorate in pH of saliva, and Angeles Jimeno sent me to my great mentor, Patrick Patch. He's from France. And this dentist, uh, to make a filling uh, or whatever, an endo, uh, and check the occluder well, for instance, use uh, the patient leg or the arm and evaluate it if the muscle don't change or not, uh, but this in all the treatments uh, in the office and uh, in all the patients uh, that exploded my mind. Uh, it, it took uh, 10, 12 years to know why this change in tone was happening. I think Patrick, uh, he gave me the vision of entire body Applied kinesiology, posturology, osteopathy. Gerardo, no, we're never gonna finish. Yeah. We need to go faster. Okay, well, we need to go to the point. Right. 
Okay, they, uh, I begin to see that the whole body can change the mouth and the mouth can change the, uh, the whole body. If you study posturology, there is a very, very learn in Italy, all human problems, everything, even the COVID, are caused by the teeth. I am a dentist, so it's perfect. But if you go to France, um, half of France solves uh, everything with the osteopathy and the other half with the feet or the insoles. In everyone uh, solved with the eyes. And in England, uh, everyone solves with the vertebra. Uh, and uh, in Portugal, with the eyes, in England, with the vertebra, and Germany uh, is with the recovery of neural information, and in, in Spain, it's everything is emotion. Everything caused by the emotion. If you have a carriage, it's emotional. If you have everything. So well, that means you have to learn everything. No, 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 no. In posturology, it's obviously you must be able to understand if you can stabilize the entire neuromuscular system, for example, with osteopathy, insults, uh, visual therapy, spleen therapy, whatever. The stability should offer you an improvement of uh, nociceptive symptoms. When I speak nociception, I mean two components of nociception, pain and tissue damage. Pain or tissue damage. Pain slash tissue damage. This is a key point when you put together occlusion and posturology. If you can Gerardo, let me stop you there for a second. Hold on, because honestly, we okay. already have people that talk about posturology, but it's still we don't know exactly what you guys measure, and I know that you're really special with the eyes. And, so, and yeah, so yeah, let's. Yeah. I, I, so okay. remember, Gerardo, I love you, but remember, we need to make it condensed. I want, okay. like, the principle uh, of posturology, eyes, magnet, needs to... It's the movement. Us, it's the yeah. movement. Okay. Uh, well, so well, tell uh, us a little bit about the principles of posturology and what you measure, because it's people that in posturology, they do a few things and other ones not. Like, are we personal? We don't do insoles. We don't do magnets. Uh, we use the tool yeah, to but, uh, the, 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 it's it's a lot of, of, of uh, uh, it's like a tree. Posturology is like a tree, and it's a language. Uh, you can we can talk all together. The, the optometrics, uh, the podiatrician, the physiotherapists, uh, whatever, they can use this uh, posturology like a language. Um, you do a test because mm, uh, the entire system works. Mm, if the visual perception affect uh, the position of the head. The vestibular system affect the position of the head. The muscular system obviously affects the position of the head and uh, the relationship between the foot and uh, with the ground. And uh, all together um, analyzing, uh, are analyzing by the, by the posturology. Uh, we are analyzing uh, this oscillation of, the, of this uh, muscles are these stone muscles, mm, uh, but let me let me finish uh, about about the about the dentist and posturology because okay. the, I thought think about that I thought uh, when the when I talk about the complete dentures work and there are no teeth when when are there no teeth. When we are in the world, we, we, don't, we do not have, and we run without them until they erupt. But when you already have them and they work, you have to change them. Why? Nature is not like me. I, I need to do things a thousand times. I discovered a great pillar of my knowledge is the evolution. A message that I always try to trust me to to my students and to everyone is please do not invent. Please try not to invent. Copy, just copy, man. Copy the evolution, which has repeated millions of years and look, uh, you have come out. Uh, you can learn a lot about the evolution, the human being. And that is when uh, I study the mouth, worldwide, uh, the teeth grew up, 
I discovered in orthopedics and functionalists, uh, IFUNA, International Functional Association. I don't know, maybe John Mew, orthotropics, uh, theory, Pedro Planas, uh, uh, I mean, you know, Aragao in Brazil, uh, Sandra Colson in Denver, the, the, um, Josephine de Sayez, treating before the uh, HFCs, uh, Bill Massimo in Brazil, Facal, Facatero, the spine, uh, scoliosis with the mouth, a guy who, who called Emilio Lopez, who uh, cures with a uh, olive seed, um, Susan Ibar in, in Peruvian speech therapy, Roberta Guedina, Marisol Dorronsor, and the Wadi Awards. The list is endless. Uh, but all those wonderful people who are all over the world studying how the stomatognatic system works, they can all teach you a trick or a technique or something that you have not considered or something that you uh, stuck you and does not let you advance. Multiple okay, Jerry, devices, multiple <laughs> techniques. Tell me, tell me. Excuse me. Tell, just so uh, what I'm what I'm hearing is that you know you have you have studied a lot of people who. <coughs> excuse me, have uh, been able to somehow connect all these different other systems with the mouth. So, okay. um, and, and it comes back to the same thing that, you know, most of our, our speakers have talked about how to them, uh, the occlusion or the bite is more than just the teeth inter, inter digitating. <clears throat> so tell us about, um, what do you, you know, at this point where you put all this knowledge together, how do you go about and what, uh, what factors are you really measuring and what, what are you seeing when the, when the patient walks in, what are the cues you're looking at? Because I, we want that position and we achieved uh, that position. We we improve that position and, and all the factors are, are in common. Uh, the eye, everything in the whole body is, uh, has something to talk. When, okay. when we improve, when we improve the, the, the position, the movement improves. And uh, if you want to say uh, the position of the temporal mandibular joint improves the movements of the temporal mandibular joint. But this is important to understand because it's out of uh, of the uh, of the um, disease damage, uh, the tissue damage, or the, out of the of the pain. If you can take out the pain, the receptive response, you can do whatever you want, and this is how the functionalism works. How can you do that with the, with the evolution? You just try to understand, well, the orthopedics um, create a way to show you. Uh, if you have uh, six months, you just do a, a few things with, with your mouth, sucking, breathing, um, mm, swallowing. But if you do, uh, if you're asking the patient uh, until four years, you do a lot of things. Chewing, uh, but, but you cannot uh, whistling, for instance, until you have uh, seven years. This development, uh, it's important to understand how can we introduce uh, functionalism, uh, how can introduce uh, orthopedics, and how can uh, find the position to create a very good movement uh, since this position. Uh, but uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you what thing. How can I introduce uh, a Slavicet concept in here? Yes, because yes. Uh, um, uh, in uh, Professor Sadao Sato uh, is coming to, he comes to, to Barcelona, to the University of Barcelona. And I asked him if he controls the occlusal plane in the uh, sagittal plane, in the sagittal plane, and Professor Slaps controls the occlusal in the frontal, I understand the planes of the space, uh, the occlusal plane is controlled. Uh, who diagonally controls that plane? And this Japanese guy, man, look at me suspiciously, no, it's a joke, uh, says, go to Vienna and asking him. I come and ask him, uh, the first day when we introduce ourselves and he says, uh, sit out and you will understand. 
In those days, uh, I had the same feeling of frustration, um, sadness, uh, abandonment that I had years ago with Professor Rocavado when I heard his 50-50 uh, concept. The same feeling of frustrated, uh, helplessness. Uh, I received a class from Professor Slavisic for two hours just talking only about the first molar. Two hours. How could it be happening to me again? It is. It's impossible. My head is exploding. Uh, 20 years of practice and I don't know how the first molar works. It's impossible. In, in 2015, I, I was uh, finishing my, my doctoral thesis in neurology on the uh, relationship between the vestibular system and the kidney. I gave the, the professor a, a free uh, of the thesis to read it. Uh, when I asked him how he thought, uh, I, 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 uh, I take advantage in asking him about the occlusal plane. And he says, you explain it to me the first day. Do you know who control it? What? What did you make me do all the courses? Uh, how many money explain here? And he said, because you did know, know what, was, what, what was going on in the mouth and what the process was like, step by step, to solve it, to keep it. Every step and every action require a careful analysis that you must learn. Before involving systems as complex like the eye or the vestibular or the feet, now, that you know how it's done, now you have uh, the, the, uh, the, the tools to prove it. Okay, so let me, try, let me, let me break up for a second to, to, okay. to wrap it around. So you were doing posturology first, that's why like your eye openers, so you get to able to see what was the influence on posture. And then you continue doing what you were doing, regular anatology, simultaneously. Sometimes, and then sometimes, your brain so yeah, start I, thinking I, I, that was something else, right? So that was at least the posturology make you understand that the human body was a little more complex than we expect. And that's what you start digging, right? Yeah. And you went to, mind, yeah. so then you because went to my, hobby tech and now you learn some principles and now you're going to integrate both. Exactly. So now to the people uh, in the other lectures, we basically, we're talking about that uh, in connection point. So what is the principles uh, about why the philosophy, what the philosophy of Slavicek, what is the, the principle, what they take as a consideration? Again, yeah. we have the disadvantage yeah. that here in America, we don't know anything. So we deserve... Okay. Did, did, but you, have, you, you like have you have you have Latinos in in America and here. Uh, I'll be quickly. I'll be quickly. I promise. Uh, but uh, you have to you uh, you have to know uh, to understand uh, philosophy at Slavisic. Uh, you um, here. I, um, you have to understand this field. Uh, we were sent to uh, to do a group work of Portuguese, Spanish, uh, Latin group. We had to take some photos uh, with that specific parameters. They gave you the material and the flash did not work. So we took the photos, played with, uh, with the speed and we presented them in the Gamma software. Elot Ulri, our teacher, Hungarian, Slavisek, a square, uh, a Slavic guy. Uh, great photos, but the photos are not made with the established diaphragm and a speed protocol. They do not work because they are not reproducible. You have to repeat them. Everyone face was the same. Some of us went to repeat, and then the great Nelson Opperman bought a Photoshop program that changes the photos at the speed and apparently we want. Everything was redone in 20 minutes. And we call it Elod again. When he saw us, uh, he started to, to look uh, and made a face of uh, disbelief and asked it. Uh, have you repeat them all? And all the Latinos shook their heads, affirming that yes, we did it without talking, without looking at us. All Latinos who are watching this know what I'm talking about. 
if you want to follow an exact protocol without failures, everything measured and perfect, Formula One style, please go to Vienna and learn. Because Professor Slavic said philosophy is based in how the entire masticatory organ has a relationship in what he calls a, a cybernetic system. There are different parts of, uh, that compose it and this interrelation is very well structured. Uh, the aims uh, are the stability of the masticatory organ. Uh, he got it, it and maintain it in, in long term because he analyzed all possible details and measure them all. Evaluate the craniomandibular system in dynamics because uh, the static relationship for him are uh, secondary. The occlusion, the occlusion must be adapted to each individual situation. Uh, that is not yet is allowed. Uh, if it works normally and the concept of uh, sequential occlusion with canine dominance, it's, it's applica applicable to all the skeletal types and adaptable to compensate malocclusion uh, forward. We use the uh, we use the condylography. It's based on the zero point of the healthy joints, uh, which is a concept in physiotherapy, and it's possible to reproduce a hinge joint rotation axis, uh, which is uh, aligned between the the two condyles, uh, and it's very close to the lateral point to reduce uh, geometric uh, distortion, which serves to have a reference position or a therapeutic position. They are evaluated in addition to, to traditional or movements, open, close, protrusion, protrusion, uh, medial trusion, lateral trusion, uh, uh, free, free movements and function, uh, such as uh, soloing, chewing, speaking, but everything with a strict protocols. Uh, when we do a condylography, for for example, uh, the chewing part, the apple given to the patient should be uh, the green apple uh, with the skin um, cut. Especially, uh, he has to do all with the same. But I do the Latin way, my man. Uh, I do chewing condylography with a Spanish ancestral tradition. That is too Somebody in the audience is asking about, uh, I don't even understand clearly, is, uh, is that something about a sequence of this occlusion? That... Yeah, can I guide and this occlusion sequence? Is every, 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 every teeth has a, a this occlusion angle uh, mm, compared with the occlusal plane. And uh, this is, can measure it. Uh, but the position of this exactly uh, each uh, each angle, and there is a very very complicated program. Uh, you have the measures of everything. You can measure uh, palatine uh, side of the central lateral canine in, in all the points. Uh, there, it's a very very complicated. You have to go to to Vienna to uh, to learn for three four years and. Mm, understand, but if you want to know exactly how is the inclination of the uh, premolar, first premolar left, uh, and the difference between the first premolar right uh, in the palatal cusp, you know that because you have it, and you can reproduce them uh, a lot of times, and you can mm, create it in into the articulator because we have. Uh, Difference. Uh, it's a complex system in the, the articulator, but this is the Formula One. You can do that, but uh, you are talking about the uh, Iceland, the uh, desert Iceland. And okay, so now let me inter in, uh, stop you again. I, I have people in the audience engaged, so I think it's people that know the philosophy, and then I think they want that you mention these things. And again, I'm neutral. I'm doing this for learning purposes. This is not political. We're not trying to prove who is better. 
I respect the people that is in the audience, and maybe since you guys represent this, that's why you want me to guide uh, Gerardo to some questions that maybe for you guys are important. We're gonna try to do the best, but you guys need to understand, uh, this is one of the concepts that I have no clue. If you see exactly. the other material that I, that I was able to interact and make clever questions, it's because that's what I use integrated in biofunctional dynamic occlusion. But this concept is really far away of my spectrum of, of, of knowledge. So I, I apologize for that. So people are saying here that a few things. Um, so they're talking about the uh, sequence of this occlusion. They're talking about the disocclusion angle. And they talk about that disocclusion angle is directed to the SCI sagittal condition inclination. It's something that inclination. should be important. Can you relate something like that? Uh, yes, uh, this is a, um, a reference. Uh, you, you have a reference position uh, because it's important to understand that um, in healthy joints, a uh, healthy craniomandibular system, uh, it is possible to reproduce a hinge joint rotation axis. And sometimes perhaps uh, it's maybe your therapeutic position. Uh, in my experience, my reference position, which is 150% uh, of the time, is that of a disease joint. And it doesn't match with a pure rotation. There is a medial trusion or lateral trusion for sure, but uh, you can reproduce this in healthy joints. Uh, and if, when you have this, this, uh, this hinge joint rotation axis, uh, you have the reference of sagittal uh, condylar plane and uh, it, it's, it's, it's like a structure uh, fin and you can measure uh, everything with, with this basic rotation and the condylography uh, give you the opportunity to um, try, uh, create exactly the shape of the teeth with the shape uh, of the movements of the, of the temporomandibular joint, uh, how the rotation is controlled. Uh, because, uh, well, in, in the not healthy TMJs, uh, Yeah, that's what people always... want to hear because people say, yeah. we don't have normally patients. Exactly. So how but, is dynamic... Well, in, in no healthy TMJs, always make a different movement for, for rotation. First, because the temporal bone, but this is my opinion. First, because the temporal bars are not asymmetric in position. And second, uh, because the muscle tone, not muscle contraction, is involved in factors in the joint. Uh, so, uh, uh, I think the, the viscosity of the synovial fly, uh, the viscoelasticity of the disc, arterial supply, and this tone is conditioned by the eye movement and the position of the vestibular system into the apetrosis process of the temporal bone. The eyes move the suboccipital and the vestibular moves the head because the suboccipital moves the head. So you have to take into, into the equation uh, the eyes and the, and the vestibular. It's impossible to understand temporal bone without these two elements. And uh, I, I, this is how I, I'm talking about because I'm, I'm talking about the condylography in the Latin way. I, I, uh, I do the condylography uh, eating pipas a kilo of pipas, clack, 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 clack. and what this is, is typical from Spain. Pipas. This is typical from Spain. Uh, is we created a uh, pipas is uh, flower uh, seeds. Some flower some, seeds. Some flower ah, okay. seeds. The Spanish are uh, very professional people uh, eating that, and it's so fantastic when you when you measure this uh, rotation uh, in healthy people in in child. Uh, they do the same movement one time, two times, three times, four times, because it's a cerebral. Uh, it's from the cerebellum. It's not uh, learning because they know how to do it. And this is very important to understand after that, uh, how the functionalism, how the brain understand the occlusion. Because okay. it's, it's- Okay, Gerardo, it's, how many phases during the treatment 
in this philosophy, you guys take as a consideration. So you made your initial analysis based in posturology. What is, give us a little sequence about what you do. So then again, I don't, I'm, I'm no clue about this philosophy. So I don't know, you guys make equilibration, make appliances. What you guys do? You pay attention only to the joint? You pay attention to no, the airway? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We, we, we can pay attention to everything. Everything has something to do. Uh, every no, but into the process. The I know that you have yeah, a huge uh, influence uh, by the posturology, no, no, but no. let's talk about the pure concept. Like, yeah, but uh, in the slap concept, uh, the cranial mandibular system is a cybernetic system. Uh, everything is involved into the, the philosophy. So, uh, and you can measure it, everything. Uh, you and uh, it's so important the muscle power patient to know uh, if the cranial mandibular system is in the healthy process. If you don't have this uh, muscle power patient in the correct process, probably something is wrong. And you, uh, you have to put these, uh, uh, the, these not healthy people into the, the healthy people. Uh, so what you treat uh, first? You treat the muscle, you treat the joint, you make an I, integration? I, I or, or Slavicek? I mean, to, give us the principle uh, and then why you modified it. I mean, it's simple like that. Like I, my foundation is in uh, muscular uh, dentistry, but I have different but, things that I adopt. Okay, uh, I, 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 I know I'm the, I am in the, in the right track uh, because Professor uh, uh, Wilfred Janik, a German bioneurologist, uh, an expert in, in enteric system, gave me an, an outline, a, a schema of the interrelationship uh, uh, between the three ways of perception, the coulomotor pathway, the vestibular system pathway, and the two geminal pathways, and where and when they are interconnected in the brain. And uh, my conclusion after, uh, after this uh, one is uh, the billion dollar question is, who really moves the temporal bones? Mariana Roccavado said the important is the, is the, is the fossa. And, and Professor Slavicek is exactly uh, about the all the cranial mandibular system uh, has a correlation between uh, the movements of the, of the mouth, the, the jaw, the movements of the craniofacial system and uh, the teeth. It, it's a very complicated uh, thing, but he do it. And mm, the answer is simple. And, and at the same time, it's so complex because um, all the interaction uh, uh, is um, difficult to understand, but you have to take care of every each part of the system. And this is the problem. It's, okay. not, uh, it's not like a recipe. Okay, I'm sorry Can that I'm calling you because we, we uh, still, we go. I need to have an idea about the entire process and I'm not. How you guys, so it's multiple ways to make diagnostics. So if I understand correctly, you guys support yourself with a software that help you to do the diagnostic. Exactly, we have the diagnosis and uh, we, have, we, have a, we have a sheet uh, and we do uh, a muscle palpation a specific. Uh, we have um, a parameters of palpation, um, anamnesis, and um, they gave you the opportunity to know uh, what is exactly um, when is the pain, where is the pain, how is the pain, uh, which part is involved into the pain. Um, oh, okay, and we do a muscle palpation with a form, a structure form, uh, and uh, this is uh, one part. We take photos, uh, photograph in, in a Slavicic uh, uh, philosophy, take photos of, of the face, uh, whatever, uh, mouth, um, mm, uh, models, uh, mm, and we do a, a, a mounting uh, in ICP and RCP position, uh, rest uh, condylar position and intercuspidal position. We, we create this position, this is for the diagnosis. Uh, mm, uh, we do the condylography and the condylography do with uh, uh, CBCT points um, and all is into the into the program, and everything happens into the program. Um, we see uh, um, that's uh, a lot of of of, of cheats, uh, and you have 
all the measures, uh, how can you um, put the correct part of the models, uh, the inclination of the T's anterior inclination, posterior, uh, where is the, this condyle, this other condyle, how it moves, and you can reproduce. Uh, everything happens into the condylography in a articulator, a total complete uh, articulator. You can change uh, the angle of the condyle uh, in every each part of the of the planes of the space. Uh, if you need to, mm, the position of the right is uh, two millimeters, one millimeter. You can do it, uh, and you can repeat everything. There is a, um, a structured boxing method for class one, for class two, for class three. Uh, and there's a therapy with the splints, there's a therapy without the splints. Uh, if, you, if you don't have the correct uh, position of the teeth, uh, you go to the orthodontia with Professor Sato and his uh, method about the uh, new concept and position of the teeth. And this is another interview. Um, and, um, and the final goal is, uh, the aim of the stability of the of the cranial mandibular system. I think it's a lot of a lot of concepts in the same place. Uh, we try Gerardo, to, how you guys? Uh, I apologize again. My wife they say that I'm so rude cutting you off, and maybe I'm abusive that we're friends, but I just concerned about the time, and still I need to have like a sketch of the same question so people can get create an opinions. I have people in Facebook giving opinions, but I'm gonna try to be into the positive side. Uh, I never bring you as representing you. I want that you, since no information about the philosophy, you just kind of tell us. I don't want to disrespect any of the people that is in the audience that they in the same philosophy, but they have. Oh, I, I respect the philosophy. I respect yeah. the philosophy of Professor Slavic, but I use it only to measure my fins, my Latin yeah. fins. And this is what it's I, about, I, again, that's what I explained I, to you I, I, here. This yeah. is a, a personal interview. This is people, I'm not trying to show who is best. It's people that was to me interesting, like Gerardo with his knowledge and in the way that he orchestrates his treatment plan, he's taking pieces for different parts. That's totally okay. Again, this the entire idea here is that we learn something, we get inspired. I get my, my understanding is you inspired by the School of Vienna in the way that you talk and everything. And yeah, I, I, yes, and, and, I, and this is uh, probably I, I am not a, a dogmatic uh, uh, Slavic uh, student uh, because I, I believe in the temporal bonds. Uh, and, and I believe it's the wonder of the nature. Uh, they contain the entire auditory system, the vestibular system, but it's only fixed in the in the portion is fixed. The rest of the bone has to form, grow, adapt. The scamus part has to rotate until it fixes. The mastoid process uh, has to stretch to form the steloid process. Uh, in the same, it's with the with the with the mastoid process. Uh, all the folds are uh, subtemporal have to change all the life. That means in the free planes of the space, uh, you have to process functionally with everything and, and the Slavic concept uh, allow me to to measure that crazy thing. How can I measure? Because I have a, a very complicated program uh, to to and I can do whatever I want. A French keys with the condylography, perfect. Uh, another thing that uh, is passing in your mind, but it's not a, a schedule uh, to talk about it. So uh, you can you can you can create whatever you want, whatever, whatever you want, because it's a great, great uh, um, tool to understand how the uh, the temporal mandibular joint works. Gerardo, uh, um, how you guys here, take the by registration? That is important. Uh, we're getting close to, to oh, we, 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 we follow. We, I follow the the method of Elot Ulri. Is is published in the Journal of Prostodontics, he do it with a uh, with a wax, a pink uh, a pink wax and alu wax. I don't know if in in the United States it's the same alu wax and uh, beauty pink, uh, beauty pink and alu wax uh, without touching. 
without touching. Uh, and all the patients are, this is, a, this is another difference between uh, how the posturology are involved into the, into the occlusion uh, because um, they do a little pressure, five grams into the point of the chin to help to rotate uh, um, forward, backward, and take uh, this, this, this uh, bite registration. Uh, um, I do it without because uh, the tone of the muscles of the eye, I don't touch the, the patient. If I put uh, my, my finger in the muscle tone are the same. If you have problems with this, it's probably you, you, your head is moving. And I use all the tests in posturology without touching the patient. Because uh, if you manipulated the patient, you have a problem because it's, it's, it's the, your, your, uh, your- Distorted. Yes. Your, yeah. Okay. So, so is, this, uh, like, is this concept, the way that you take the bite is how the school of Vienna take the bites or not? Or they, this is your personal yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do, they do. But okay. I'm not touching. I'm not touching the patient. I just uh, um, teach the patient. Mm. So are you guys taking into consideration the muscles? Yeah, everything, every muscles. The and muscles how are the. You get the. Yeah. How is the? How you get balance into the muscles? Uh, what is the technique? I'm just curious. To, to take this because uh, you know what happened exactly what uh, in the in that muscles when you do that movement if you move that these muscles move if you are here if you know the position you know what exactly what muscle is not working well or or, or if, if this is working well you know exactly because uh, it's a relationship that the vectors of the muscles are very clearly, if you have a, uh, we use a, um, we use a occlusogram. It's, it's like a wax, and we see uh, the interference uh, in ICP, in lateral trusion, medial trusion, protrusion, and we know exactly uh, what, which part of the teeth are uh, creating the interference. For instance, if you know the interference in one side, you know how is the muscle is isn't work in the other. Uh, um, they are all structured. Uh, I, I don't know if I've, if I am clear with that. Yeah, I was. Uh, so you tell you taking the muscle consideration, and it just it's still. I'm, I apologize. I'm kind of stupid today. I wake up too early. Uh, maybe my brain is not working correctly. So just to wrap it around, you make an analysis big part of the information is coming from the posturology part then we you check everything then you use some uh softwares and articulators to kind of try to reproduce the movement of the patient the part that we don't have clear is like a we neuromuscular doctors or philosophies like biofunctional that has influence on neuromuscular we use transelectrical stimulation to relax the muscle is another people that they try to use uh, Lucia but G. How can how broke. can but how, how can you how, the how can you relax a muscles if you don't take in in the situation into the into the equation the the eye? If you have if you, uh, it's so easy to 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 know. Uh, if you see my presentation tomorrow, uh, I will show you. I, I, I change my presentation now. You, I show you how. If you don't see with the two eyes at the same time, you don't see in, in three dimensions. That means you have to put your, your head. It's, it's, it's easy. The middle line is, is for the eyes and the middle line uh, is in this place and mm, you are from evolution. Uh, you have your vestibular system perpendicular to this. And if your middle line is in this position, your uh, horizontal plane is here. The horizontal plane is not there. It's impossible. It's, it's, it's uh, inside the, the temporal bone. So if you are there, this is your reality. And this is correct. This is healthy. Uh, this, uh, this DMJ is lower and this DMJ is, is upper because your perception of reality is the eyes. And you can establish whatever you want. This is not talking about the contraction of the muscles. It's about the tone of the muscles. 
And if you touch the tone of the muscle, you change it. But we, we measure with the myotone. Uh, but this is in, 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 in posturology. Think about the first one, uh, the first thing we have to do is the anamnesis, almost an hour. Uh, I consider that it, it, the, uh, it's not wasting time, but it's, it's invested. Uh, the postural physical exam is a visual capture, cover test, without in, in an Iceland, with the, uh, with the hand, uh, uh, proximal point of convergence, uh, max, uh, maddox, uh, well, uh, the vestibular capture, uh, a rhombus, a uh, clinical test of sensory interaction, uh, Fukuda, uh, the stepping test, uh, bucket test, uh, subjective visual vertical, uh, the food, uh, unipodal support, stabilizing chains, uh, neutral standing position, uh, walk, uh, goniometrics, extension, flexion, flexor rotation. Gerardo, uh, you guys make yeah. or, uh, or tosses? Uh, appliances may, may, you do yeah, with yeah, superior, yeah. Superior, okay it's, it's okay, okay yeah, but, uh, in posturally well in my office i don't know in posturally in my office we make photos with glasses without glasses with the spleen without the spleen um uh, with uh, insults without the insults uh, we measure everything we create a videos and uh, photo videos recorded of everything in every positions in the space and we compare it this uh, that uh, give us a uh, initial diagnosis, and we we and which we determine uh, the priorities. The system is uh, hierarchical, hierarchical, and, and two basic parameters: uh, how uh, its function embryological, and how the neurobiology development is. Uh, when you know that, you can go to the whatever, uh, the osteopathy, he put uh, the, the head in the position, you do it again, it's just 50 minutes. Uh, diplopia functional, diplopia, uh, diplopia, far diplopia, um, oh, um, near diplopia, far yes, diplopia, far -sided. yeah. Far, uh, near diplopia. Um, Gerardo, I love you, minutes. brother, you know please, stay into the subject. Okay. Stop, question stop. Is, stop? yeah no i'm sorry because i'm sounding room because i have to stop you but it's not my intention i'm trying to moderate the 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 the, the, the interview no, in that, some they, way. They, they, and you're getting they, out the subject and i want I still don't know if you if in the slavic check technique you guys do appliances or not if you guys do yes, 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 yes. wait 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 let me finish so you go you go because time is a problem now we really uh we're already at the one hour mark yes and then still I don't have clear things and, and it made me worry for the audience. We want to know, you guys do appliances, if you guys do appliances, if it's upper or lower, and if these appliances has any specific design, it has anatomy, if they're flat. Spe if specific they have, anatomy, have... uh, there uh -huh. a lot of splints, uh, three, four partial splints, uh, lower splints, upper splints, uh, Mm, fix the splints uh, for mm, four seven uh, 24 seven days a spleen uh, two weeks a spleen uh, mm, emergency splints uh, we have mm, a lot of of, of, of how long uh, it takes to, to the formation at the school of vienna we used to have an idea how many how many how many what like a how long it takes to learn the concept uh I mean, just because it looks really deep and fascinating. Yeah, How long uh, does it take? To, well, well, all your life. Uh, two years, two years, two, two three years. Not, uh, not a total complete. Uh, mm, you have to go practice in your, in, in your office and come back. And the basic course is uh, six, uh, Six, uh, six modules, seminars, six seminars, and uh, you you involved it inside, and you never stop to learn because you start to know people who work with that uh, forty years, and they show you uh, the patient, and you you say, I want to do that. Say, think about it. he he is he is a 
very successfully, but you have to do this uh, concept in all the all the correct uh, steps. Mm -hmm. I am a Latin guy. I am not do all the steps, and I yeah. do my steps. This is the problem because in between uh, between um, his philosophy and my opinion of the thing. Uh, and that is valid. I think uh, we all have learned in one way, and we translate it in the way that we think, or even we can teach the people. All right. Um, so let's uh, let's let's uh, take a look. So so you take all these uh, information. Uh, then you formulate your uh, your diagnosis. Uh, whether it's uh, uh, are you guys looking at similar parameters at the end of the day? I mean, it looks like you're looking at a lot of neurological uh, uh, parameters. But are you looking at uh, joint pathology, displacement? Obviously, obviously, and all obviously. that, and but and and then reposition. So when you take your bite, are you? Are you guys uh, looking to recapture the meniscus and, and yeah? But you are thinking you are thinking into a little box. We are in right. a in a big box. Understand. This is a big box. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to about, understand. Correct. Yeah. Think about think about this guy. Think is uh, is movement is important. Not uh, not uh, the static. The static. Uh, yes, it's a uh, it's something to take care. Of, but the best important thing is, is movement and who moves uh, the temporal mandibular joint, who moves the cranial system, everything, everything is the, uh, the muscles, uh, is uh, um, the worker, the brain is, is, is the boss uh, and you have to go to the, to the boss. If the boss uh, create a very good uh, um, order, uh, the workers will do and how the work how the boss do the orders breathing sucking swallowing chewing and i added oculomotricity uh, eye vestibular coordination eye foot uh, correlation uh, and how can we start to do that with we with achievement of the resting position stabilization of the movement uh, in from this resting position to right. the therapeutic position, or, or probably the same, uh, sure. if coincides the reference and with the therapeutic, well, we can do prostodontics uh, or orthodontics, and after that, prostodontics uh, is a multiple multiple. It's uh, fascinating uh, how open setting. is the spectrum. That is beautiful, right. so, and so I'm sorry, Gerardo, to put you in the spot before. I know that is tough. Uh, because you develop the way that you work and again all respect for all the philosophies and all respect for the people that is watching us um, yeah, probably it, I'm a, I'm a, how, how do you say hereje in, in English I don't know hereje oh my god I don't know I don't know well uh, uh, the, uh, probably I, I, I'm not I'm not a good uh, speaker from uh, Slavic philosophy I, I'm talking with, with Christian um, hey, and I talk to him. Probably I'm not the very best guy to talk about uh, philosophy. Because or, we didn't want to get into that connotation. We want to see your perception that I think is important. I think the structures of obviously, philosophy obviously it's my that perception. Is and, so it's good. And, now, and what the only clarification that I want to do is that Maybe in the future, I want that you guys understand that we plan this based in what we know, and this explanation goes to the audience. We plan this in, in based in what we know. Gerardo, I didn't know that he was doing this. And again, since I have no authority whatsoever to know, I'm like a following what people is commenting. Maybe people is thinking that they would like to hear that you say more or different, that it's all valid. But then I will apologize with the people. I say, okay, this is the beginning of a project. At least we are interested to talk about occlusion. And that's the beauty of this. Correct. Again, here, if the world start thinking more about the positive things and less about the negative, I think this is the message that we get for this COVID, this coronavirus. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry if uh, someone uh, in, in, uh, near to the uh, Vienna school feel uh, this is not the philosophy of professor okay i use the interdisciplinary approach 
uh, but I uh, use posturology. My, my, my office is a posturology, it's not a dentist. I am a posturology, but in which all patients uh, are least for professional optometrics, uh, physiotherapists or osteopaths, podiatrists and dentists for visions of the same patient. And the different professionals also refer us uh, the patient so that we can do the dental part of the postural control. And I use the Slavisek uh, Latinos way for my, uh, for my function and I can measure it. Uh, uh, the professor mm, not measure the eye. I'm sorry, but I, I'm talking to him a lot of, about this. Uh, he and I measure the eye. I, I, now we have we have we have uh, the possibility to to measure everything. Everything means uh, um, uh, the stabilometry. It's uh, it's, uh, um, it's like a, it's like a, uh, we can measure the movement of of the body. Uh, we can measure. Um, Mm, uh, in, this is in, in, in the feed, but uh, in the visual uh, converge, converge for the eyes, we can use a, a programmatic, yeah, yeah, a program. Okay. A program I'm uh, sorry. Uh, uh, in the mouth with the T scan, we, we not use the T scan like biting. It is stupid. It's a movement. You have to bite and start to waiting for the oscillation. Uh, for the TMJ using the condylography and the gamma system, and for the tone using myotone. Uh, so we use a lot of uh, things to measure the parameters of each plane of the space individually and collectively. This You're is what right. I want to, to let's, uh Let's move to the next phase uh, at this point. Let's, let's answer some questions uh, okay. so that we can get some sort of uh, uh, form to, to, um, to bring things together. So is it fair? Our first question is, what is occlusion to you? From what I listened, uh, is it fair to say occlusion to you is the, the health of the, the, the really the neural, the central nervous system? Um, because that's what it sounds to me, that you're looking at really the, the neural pattern of how all of this is controlled. So it's not just the teeth and bite to you, you're looking at the whole bodies and how the central nervous system is controlling all these different uh, systems. Is that correct? Is uh, there... I, I think the, the, the occlusion is a, is a process. It's a cortical sensorial process. And okay. it's carried out by the, by the stomatognatic system in the hardest tissue, the enamel, the dentin, and the root seven. And this contact provides uh, the initial and the final position of the body movement, because the body is always movement. Uh, the mechanical balance in human uh, in physics is doesn't exist uh, because your heart is beating, uh, you, your blood must come out and return, uh, your temperature is here, and you have to create this stability. This is the the tendency of the bodies to 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 find the equilibrium point. And that can be measured because it's uh, oscillation. When something goes from one side to the other side and passes twice through the same place, this is the definition of frequency. And the occlusion is a frequency. If you, if you have a taste scan, you just take bite, bite, only bite. And you see how it's moving. And it's a parameter. If you close your eyes, it's different the movement. If you cross your legs, it's different the movement. If you take a break and wait, it's different the movement because your body is always moving. But if you move, you can measure how with the frequency of uh, of this of this of this stability. This is my my uh, think about occlusion. Occlusion is when the hardest tissue, the, the, the dentin enamel, the enamel, the dentin, and the, and the root semen, talking together, starting and uh, the initial and the final position of the body. This is this is my my opinion. All right. So uh, can you quickly go uh, just through the the factors you're looking at? You mentioned posture, um, and, and I look everything from um, head to toe. 
So in the mouth, in the mouth, we analyze uh, 43 oral functions to ability to beat box. If you can do this, you have a problem. I, I am a very old guy and I not know how to whistle. It, this is a problem for my muscular system. Uh, so I look everything from head to two. And we not, we Are not you, stop uh, falling. Let's, let's talk about some of the stuff that uh, um, that we're, for instance, looking at. Like, how about airway? Are you looking at and, and analyzing airway? With a uh, Franklin Susan Eva uh, test, his uh, speech therapies, mm, we measure uh, the holes, uh, the function of the mm, nasal muscles, uh, the air breathing. Uh, measure the air breathing, uh, the line. Mm, we use a, a, a lot of parameters to to uh, know how the oral breathing is 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 function, and we improve the lip sealing, and these parameters has to be better in in time, uh, three four months. Mm, Sandra calls on how can you uh, um, close your lips. Mm, we use a, uh, a speech therapist a therapy and another from functional so functional therapy. Uh, you guys believe in my functional yeah. therapy, getting the um, oral function. I, I, I can... Yeah, we use we use to close the, the lips is the first thing, and you start to know where ha, where you have to put uh, the tongue. Uh, how you can resolve the uh, rest those saliva. Those are common grounds that we were looking for. Those are, those are you know, uh, the first part of what you were explaining sounded so really, honestly, very complicated for somebody like myself, uh, completely ignorant of all these uh, uh, system. Um, it almost was uh, like all over the place, but uh, talking about some of these things are stuff that we understand that, uh, yes, we're looking for these muscular function we're looking at as a system that unless all the parts, which is the muscles, the joints, and the teeth, they have to be working. Don't complicate. On the don't complicate the system. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, copy the copy the evolution. What do you have to improve before the teeth? Well, you know, the, we we are we also think it's about, it, but we don't we don't quite think of it that deep uh, into the central nervous system. We just try to control what we can control and okay. try to get the posture you, as best as we can and i mean the ice is fascinating it's just deep to understand but it's honestly it's fascinating the eye control but that is if, if you, you don't All know right. how to breathe when you have your uh, six erupted before that you breathe until that day until the day to your six erupted for the first time until your first erupted and your fist touch it with the other you have to breathe. And how you breathe? The important is you can do uh, functional things before you have teeth because the teeth are the structures. Hamid, it's so easy to understand. Your middle line is here, the two eyes. Uh, you have the middle line, but you are a baby. You, you just cannot put your head in this position, because your sternocleidal mastoideo is not aligned, it's not, uh, no, it's not it's a strong. strong. It's strong. When you are strong, you see in three dimensions. You you see your uh, your hand in three dimensions because you have a reflexes, our archaic reflexes. It uh, don't let you uh, see correctly your your hand in three dimensions. When you just got that, you start to put it in in this position. The vestibular takes this position and is perpendicular to the middle line. And when you stop your head, you remember you have a kiss when, when the kid do it, this movement until they tuck, find the structure. Think about why the nature put all together, 64, the better uh, endings of sensory, uh, galvanoreceptors, baroreceptors, uh, everything is in the mouth, everything and how can you protect it with the free hardness tissues of the body? Why? To eat is stupid. It's to maintain uh, the head in the place when you breathe and when you uh, swallow, because you need you need a structure, a, a wall. 
this is why the six stop here. The 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 central erupted at six Correct. months because you know where is the where is the. So the way we look at it is that it's given a stability to our head over the C one and C two. So that that's what how we look at it. It just seems like a, a little bit more maybe deeper look of going around and explaining it. Um, uh, Gerardo, can you tell me uh, briefly the, 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 the diagnostic uh, tools that you use? Uh, I know you, you go through a detailed uh, both uh, postural exam and oral exam, but uh, some of the tools that you use, uh, tell us about it, the machinery. The machine? Uh, yes. uh, stabilometry? A stabilometry, a stabilometry, okay. a stabilometry uh, for the feet and for uh, entire body, but uh, the pressure stabilometry uh, platform, mm, uh, the visual uh, convergence of uh, of the eyes with a uh, with a it's a informatic program in optometrics. Uh, you can see the field um, for the vestibular motion sensors uh, in darkness, uh, visual vertical subject, uh, for the mouth, the T-scan, uh, for the TMJs, uh, the condylography from gamma, uh, from deglutition, I gamma. use uh, uh, with- Is gamma um, the company that manufactures the equipment? How gamma, is the equipment see, Gamma. Yeah, gamma, gamma software. Uh, and for the tone of the, of the muscles, uh, myotone. Myotone, okay, so you do- Myotone. This is, uh, and we put all together, uh, um, we create a pattern of, uh, of treatment. First of all, uh, uh, before everything, we have to improve a uh, nauseoceptive way. No pain, no tissue damage. If you have a uh, TMJ. To that. We're gonna Okay, we're gonna to get to that. If, um, uh, Ger Gerardo, do you use uh, an interdisciplinary approach? Meaning, do you use other uh, uh, um, physicians like uh, chiropractors or, or, or the old? Yeah, or? no, no, no. In the in the in, we are we are a posturology uh, consultation. We we have uh, four well, well uh, dentists all in posturology. Uh, orthodontics uh, no posturology, the osteopath no posturology, different kinds of osteopaths no posturology, the pod uh, the podiatrist uh, no posturology, and the optometrics. Everyone knows, and I do the dental part of posturology in, in other professionals. Someone in near to to my office send me the patient. I do the part of of dental part of the posturology and yeah, that um, was that was my question. What other professionals? So, so you work with an osteopath? How about the physical therapist? Yeah, every every day, it's impossible. Okay. It's impossible not to work with them. Correct. Fantastic. Um, all right. So the sequence of treatment. Um, who sees the patient first? Do you see your normally the patient? I, I do. Okay, I and do. then you and then you kind of organize, organize and organize yeah. who sees. Okay, so tell me. Let's say you see a patient and uh, you said, okay, we got a first. How do you go about first? Do you um, do you fix have their start correcting their posture? Do you fix why? Do you, do you fix? Where do you start first? Do you start with an oral appliance or do you start with other professionals? Like with, normally, normally, it's oh. with, normally, normally it's with other, uh, but uh, if you have a um, strong pain, uh, we use a splint therapy. Like uh, a temporary, combine, like it, we're combine, it, combine it with the osteopath. Right. Normally, it's, but if you have vertigo, for instance, uh, it's just a very, um, Good point. You have to change the vertigo first with the vestibular therapies and introduce into the into the uh, uh, into the postural control because um, this uh, is like a parasite. Uh, nobody, no, nothing into the body understand um, nothing until this parasite goes. 
So Go what is that first, that first appliance that you put? How it looks like that one that you say that you will use in that case? No, I create uh, first of all uh, distracting the the uh, yeah with with exercises uh, distracting elongation and uh, distraction of the of the TMJ, and when we have this uh, position, this is after twenty one days. Uh, we um, start to using the the bike uh, with the forces who create like a tension in the muscles until the muscles are no response, and we copy that that position. Uh, so can we say we, it, it's correct to say? To the, it is correct to say that the technique that you guys use is to fatigue the muscles. Is that appropriate to say? Until until find the reset point exactly. It's, it's a therapeutic uh, process in physiotherapy. You okay. um, move move a muscles until you have the zero point. And when you have no response, uh, correct response of the muscles, you can copy that uh, that position. And it's a very natural position for the patient. Uh, middle line concise. It's, it's, it's How? very reproducible and, and very comfortable for the patient at the same time. Yeah, I think the other day you explained me something like this that you use to enhance your hand, you know, these sprints, something like that. So now, now my question is, when you guys put these devices that look like it's something that has a sprints that make it resistant to be able to fatigue the muscle, is any specific position that you put it, it goes into the inside. So, uh, I mean, I have no clue how they look like. So it's something big, it's something that you can just bite into no, it's, the it's, front it's, of. Yeah. No, I, it's like, a, I use a free film, free films for uh, the Jig, uh, the Jig de Lucia and Coy's, uh, I, I mix Chris it. the program. Uh, and create the program and I, I put it into the anterior, uh, the first time I do it with all the all the um, all the jaw, but uh, normally uh, the this structure blocks uh, uh, in in pre the premolar and posterior part. So I start to make it in, in anterior part, and this is fantastic because uh, create like a natural guide. But probably the guide is uh, in this position. In this position, it doesn't matter for me. I want to uh, release and take a, a show the system, the older brain, a reset position. And the physiotherapist um, work with, uh, with this uh, thing, this, this spleen, uh, without this spleen until uh, we have improved uh, tissue damage or, or pain, when we or, or both at the same time. When we get this, starting to um, teach the patient how can you uh, arrive to this position? How can you do uh, this in this position? Uh, mm, we do it in the night and in the day. Mm, he has to have con conscious of, of, the, of the position of the, of the, of the mandible. Uh, into the cranial mandibular system. I don't know if I explained it right. Um, uh, George, at, at what stage or do you at all consider facial aesthetic in your treatment? Um, when do you start thinking about that? Are you, Hamid, are you from 70s, 80s? Are you? Uh, you born in seventies, in eighties, in seventy three. I, well, I want to tell you. Uh, imagine that I'm going to to buy a uh, seventy three for Mustang. We arrive, and when they open the garage uh, door, uh, we we find a car in perfect condition. What is the first question? Do you ask? You never ride it. Does what? it turn on? <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, uh, and and then you 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 say, can I try it? And what do you want? No, you don't touch it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We want to try it with the hardest macadamia nut 
that you can find it. I never eat macadamia nut, uh, but I want to prove it. This is my 73 for Mustang in perfect condition, but I want to prove if it is uh, the capacity to run at 170 miles per hour. Why? Because you want to try it. And the 73 for Mustang may be in perfect beauty, but it should also work with the problems that a 73 car brings, uh, such as uh, having lost it or need to put implants or you have to warm so much uh, that you have to recover the some broken parts, whatever. Correct. So uh, where, this, is, where, this, is the, this is the point where, to 73, but look like a car from that year, not a 22 model, not, not a 20, uh, 2020. 2020 model. You have but to as you know, be, as you know, people, even though they may come with pain or in a lot of times our patients come in thinking that they only have dental problems, right? And they're interested in a nice smile. I mean, Javi and I work on, on these type of cases all the time. And then we have to tell them, hey, this is why you broke and destroyed your teeth to get in here. And this is why we have to do our modality. Correct. So we we've gotten used to kind of like even though we need to first deprogram the system to bring him to a baseline correct uh, a healthy baseline before we structure but from day one we start to look at facial uh cues Perfect. and aesthetic cues correct and and deciding you know this is going to be like a range for our, our uh, vertical we don't want to go beyond that because it's not going to look right at the same time, we have to fit all that health and function in that same, same space. So uh, uh, we wanted to I know- I am not the dentist for that people. I, I, I am not the dentist for that people uh, because I uh, so. uh, they, they searching for me because uh, a dentist do pain. that. A dentist do that. First aesthetics. Uh, first, right. uh, it's, it's, it's so hard to know how to breathe at uh, 73 Mustang model, obviously it's hard. And probably you spend six months or maybe a year and you have to wait for that. Yes, because I want to do a very good job. I don't want to do bad jobs. If you want a uh, very aesthetic, fine mm, mm, teeth, but uh, without function, go there. Here is different, here is different. You have to learn how to use it. You have to learn how to, take care of your of your of your new aesthetic spin so we do a very very good uh, job and probably i'm not the dentist for that people i'm sorry but that is no no uh, there's no right and wrong jerry there is no right and wrong we're just trying to uh, formulate these answers in in, in the questionnaire and, and there is listen you know, there is a, a thousand different ways of uh, doing things and obviously you know we know all our clinicians that we've invited are excellent clinicians and uh, there is uh, uh, no one way of doing things. And right. I want, I want to, I want to tell the beauty of the classic is that are preserved uh, in the best of condition. The and that's fine. And You're function. talking about biomimetics and and making things look like the way. Yeah, but, yeah we have uh, to make beautiful things. That's also, that's but, also but at the same art. That's at the yeah, same that's art that implies so. natural wear, uh, anterior. It's the de theory of dental degosis. Everything is in that. Right. My, my opinion, uh, beauty is, is the wrinkle in, in how it looks agree. and I, how it dismantles me. 100% agree. I, we don't disagree. That in itself is an art and a beauty to make things look very natural. Um, let's talk about the growth factors. And, and, uh, and uh, do you have any familiarity with, uh, for instance, we, PRGF? We just, your, What's that? We use platelets uh, in guided bone regeneration. You're in, in Spain, and uh, Spain is uh, is pretty big with. Uh, yeah, yeah we uh, use it. Uh, we do not use in in, in temporal mandibular joint? joint. Yeah, but the results we obtain with without uh, thinking that it's not necessary. But if we had a case, absolutely always, uh, I will not hesitate to use it. Fantastic. All right. So, question number. two. Nine, we're at the nine. Um, I think it's a resounding yes. Uh, so so uh, because you're a posturologist, we're, we're asking everybody, are you, are you seeing postural changes, which I'm assuming that your work is really based on 
bettering the postures, correct? Are you seeing, are you yeah. obviously monitoring? The change must be evident and the examination must be improved. Oh, if that's not happen as we predict, as, then there's uh, something wrong. that we fail in the diagnosis. Something is failed. Uh, we, the postural is in, uh, Inseparable uh, from before, the in, and, and after During, uh, of the treatment, yeah. we we use the the the, the posturally everywhere, in every each part of the diagnosis, each part of the treatment, and each part of the pronostic. Fantastic. Um, let's talk about the um, education. I understand that you are uh, um, you do teach uh, at the university and consult there. How, where, how do you see the, the possibility of uh, incorporating some of these ideas into? We are, we are solving, we are solving little our seed. Every semester at the um, International University of Catalonia, he left me, uh, he left me do whatever I want. We are doing tests to able to validate uh, our results this year. Uh, I'm directing three theses, one in dental faculty, uh, but the others in, in faculties such as uh, optics or, op, uh, uh, or, or podiatry uh, oh, on the true. relationship uh, of the mouth and the other structure. We are doing a, a doctoral thesis on the movement of the ICP. Uh, many dentists come to learn what we do. Uh, we have been making way for many dentists and uh, That's fantastic. So, uh, so now, well, uh, we, great trips start with um, with one step, and we already took that one. I think uh, we are inside the, the the universities, and we all just try to do uh, conventionally and uh, structured uh, science about this. What we believe. Fantastic. Um, very well. Um, now I know you're, um, based on what you've uh, explained, uh, you guys maybe not so much, you, you rely on other factors, let's say, uh, to, um, to do this, but, uh, do you guys, uh, ever look, uh, at the specific kinematics and the movement inside the joint? Yep. We, 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 we see what do you what do you think mind. is uh, what do you think is uh, is going? Can you uh, t tell me about the the movements? Are you thinking there is rotation, translation, concurrent? In, in healthy, in healthy, we're not healthy joints. No, is, I'm really uh, healthy. Is, no, we, we already know healthy. You know, no, I think in, uh, I know we don't I see it. To, I know we don't see it. But let's let's the, Dream about imagine, the imagine, imagine in my in my practice, uh, all my patients are asymmetric. Every every patients are always asymmetric. Uh, Correct. They Correct. they are always uh, unfunctional. Well, parafunctional, better. Correct. Uh, Correct. And I treat everyone like this, uh, asymmetric and parafunctional, and and I want to uh, have a healthy system, every a healthy body. And that means- uh, Let's, let's uh, think about, let's talk about in, a, in, a, um, in an ideal healthy joint, how do you see the kinematics happening? Uh, with, the, the with, a hinge, uh, with a hinge joint rotation axis? No, uh, do you think- Basically this is what we're trying to find out. It is a hinge axis rotation. The lateral, yeah, in the lateral, go lateral to other lateral, it, it's a it's a position. It's a reference position. No, uh, yes, but so, what we're trying to describe here is the the momentum, the events that, that happen inside the joint. Uh, you and I we spoke multiple times about this. You already seen the research that I have with the instrumentation that we use. And honestly, I just trying to describe what I'm seeing with my eyes. That's why the reason that we're doing this. We're trying to standardize. Many of the concepts that people say, maybe they never have the chance to see it. That's why my lecture in Friday, I will show some of these. And then we as a group, we will see if, if, if what I'm seeing is right. And I'm looking for, for, 
put opinions. So what we try to describe and, and is, do you, you think see, that is a rotation see, you, first and then a you translation? Always see a lateral, you always see a lateral tuition movement uh, before or not. Okay. I, 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 no, I'm talking about I the see, it's a rotation uh, or a translation first. We're talking, we're talking about, about, about the moment of opening, uh, Jerry. Opening. When, you, when, when, you, when we go when to you open, open I, I, yes. um, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's laterally. If it's it's not healthy joint, laterally first. No, but you get to another different dimension that we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's, you made it right. Okay. Uh, okay. um, no, we're talking about sagittal view of the conda, and we're talking about yeah. it's an initial rotation and then a translation, as the book said, or pool, is something that's coming the, together. The of the movement. Yeah. If you have a poor rotation and the starting movement. That's what we ask. That's what the literature say. The literature say that it's you not, have it's two, not, three millimeters. No, it's impossible. A, a poor rotation, it's impossible. It's, it's not, you have to take a CVCT. There's no, uh, the condyle is not uh, uh, around. <laughs> it's, it's, it has a typical shape. It's impossible to rotate with this uh, form. It's impossible with this uh, shape. It's impossible for me, obviously, no? I don't so know you can say you know, that it's a translation and a rotation combined that, that yep, we can yep. say? Okay. Yep. Very well. Thank you so every, much. Every, for... every, every, every people in the, in the, in the house are so angry with me about the <laughs> about the but that's no, you okay. know we are, what we, is are, it? we are igniting passion and that's that's a great thing it's we honestly we're all passionate about what we're doing and that's why a couple of crazy guys are doing this for uh, eight days in a row uh, i'm don't... not a crazy guy man i'm batman <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I want to kill you, you but know my secret. Now <laughs> you know why I need four days with four nines, like a two cigars for every conversation. I have a bottle of scotch every time that I was talking with Gerardo. You see how yeah, passionate he is? Like, I will like, try, to be, I will try like, to be simple, but it's is more complicated. He try, he, believe me, he make a huge effort to be simple. <laughs> this is not a way that he normally talks. He takes so many, that many... Sounds like uh, when I but I love it, honestly. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will, I will try see. to do my best. Uh, I'm very simple, but it's so complicated. I can t uh, I can show you exactly what is the way uh, of pathway of the trigeminal in the in the in the brain. But this is not. Do you remember the for the lecture? Of of, yes, okay. we we want that you show really what you do. You remember that in the Friday we're gonna be politically finishing after 30 minutes because as okay, a fact I have one perfect. speaker. That I need to still uh, feed it up because uh, okay. So I will try to do. I will try to do yes. in thirty minutes. Uh, thirty I'm minutes. Absolutely sure. Now to I'm gonna tell you something that I'm gonna do myself because I have okay. similar personality that I want to go and I never on time. I'm gonna record my lecture to be fair. <laughs> so because I want to be, be okay. neutral, I'm gonna record my lecture. It's gonna be thirty minutes that I just need to put play. That's it. I contain. The material okay, and the points okay. I want to I highlight. Do, I, will do, yes. I will do. I will do. Yeah. And uh, a lot of information. So you have to stop it and say, oh, what a handsome guy. I want to hear it for all my life. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys know, see, I, that's what I it, must be, so, it must be something Colombian in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in love look, with yourself, look at right? me. I am a very handsome guy. Oh, it's, it's, and it's he doesn't know how to dance but... because he's from Bogota. I do know how to dance. Yeah, no. oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, no, no. love you, Gerardo. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank love, you, everybody. I love you. I'm so sorry for the. Don't be sorry. Oh, no, we love you because no, who I, you I, are. I, that's what it is. Independent of the features. My, my point of view. Um, I know, and um, thank you because this makes us think that eventually, it's a fact that Hamid and I, we're going to continue doing this, not with this intensity because we still we need to figure it out how we're going to uh, feed our families after this process, right? <laughs> but at least yeah, try to details. keep doing some. Yeah, but then we want eventually to bring um, more people related with this and learn more, honestly. Learning doesn't hurt nobody, uh, honestly. And for the people that is watching this, 
we're going to have something for somebody that you guys can share with us. But remember, everything is an afraid the environment. And we don't want to prove fact, that nobody's right or wrong. As a matter of fact, they stuff. should suggest. They should say people should suggest people that we can invite and uh, that that can. Uh, no, even Gerardo has somebody, but I didn't want it because that was not the purpose of this. Gerardo told me honestly, I think I take things for the the, the school of Vienna, but I'm not. Let me put you in contact with my teacher, and I say, Gerardo, this is not about this. It's about you. You have the connection. I will respect your teachers. But we don't have this personal contact. And to me, this introduction to talk about occlusion, it start for the heart. It start for that, that connection that we have as human beings by passion. Kind of like an introduction for ourselves because all of these have affected and has uh, uh, had a uh, movement in the way we do things. So uh, but, it was important for us exactly. to bring people. If I, want, if I want something a structure with perfect, uh, motion, perfect position, and perfect width. I use a Slavic concept, but I am not a. I am a Latin guy. I told you, and I, I use whatever I want. And if I have to use, uh, I don't know, another things, I use it with another science. And uh, then, I and that's good. It's good goal, to mix. The, that's not nothing wrong the with goal, that. The goal is another thing. The goal is the healthy of the of the patient. That's correct. Not that's not not to not to have the reason. Not not to do uh, the things like this or like this one. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's not always a straight line. The closest distance between two points. All um, right, my friend. We, in, in, we okay. did it again. We have gone 42 minutes ahead of our uh, a lot of. Oh well, this okay. is because yeah. I'm a very handsome guy. You know that. <laughs> uh, so thank you, everybody. Before we cut 